The purpose of this video is to run through the use of these ball valves here. Um, these are motorized ball valves and uh, they're, they are open and closed using um, single phase uh, 230 volts and they have an open and closed reed switch um, contained in them. They're IP67 and they're actually ATEX rated as well. So they're actually very, very nice. And I'm doing a functional test here. I've set up a rig and I have an S7-1200 of Siemens PLC here. And the concept is that uh, once this relay energizes, um, it uh, sends power to the valve to open. And then I also then have the uh, reed switches open and closed uh, wired up as as inputs as well so i have to do this 50 times over and basically i have uh, the cables um, all lined up here to these different numbers so i'm doing the same thing over and over and i'm documented as i'm going and you can see that the actual cable colors are actually written on the side of the valves as well um the the installation verification i might do uh, another time uh, just to kind of show how how things are documented, but this is just purely a technical video. So I have um a TIA open here, and basically for each test that I'm doing, I I'm just literally going here where it says SV01. So that shows the energization, you know, pretty much of of this relay here. Um, so if I just to do a functional test, I'm just going to go to modify to one. And what you see is the relay has gone on and then there's an indicator on the head of the valve and it's going to spin around uh, to yellow. So I'm actually just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to pop off the caps just to the body of the valve. So just pop it off there on the other side. And here you'll actually see that the valve is open. And what I'll do is I'll just literally uh, put the valve then to be closed. So you can see the reed switches here. Uh, the ZSO is true and now we'll modify it so that what we'll see there is that they, they're both true, both read switches are true at the moment to show that it's kind of in its alternating state and here we can see the valve is almost fully closed and there we go so it's fully read there given the indication uh, the ZSC is true here and then you can also see then that the the light, the input that represents the ZSE is, uh, is also true there. So I have to do this 50 times over. That's the purpose of me just doing this video. And I might do another video um, next, which shows exactly how I documented, um, you know, each uh, instrument verification here for, for, these, uh, for these valves.